Hi Taurus and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for August and this is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or rising sign of Taurus and um, you know we'll get a sense of what the energies or messages are for the month and we can plan accordingly and we'll pull some oracle cards afterwards for further guidance and clarity. Okay, so we have the Star Major Arcana, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the King of Swords. So the Star is simply a lovely card. We see the woman here without her clothes and she's kneeling down, she's pouring water into one small pond, she's also pouring water onto the grass, into the soil. And so she's doing it without her clothes on. So right off the bat, when you are comfortable in your own skin, you, when you are not afraid to be the authentic you or who you are, then you have the strength and the courage to stand naked and to allow yourself to be seen. And it really goes to feeling good about yourself, restoring and um, enhancing perhaps the confidence that you have. Now often we see the star after a challenging time and the star is about trying to find uh, the healing energy, the restorative feelings between the physical self and the spiritual self and uh, finding the right mix. We see the star here. It's very interesting, the star with the satellite stars and you know, there's a sense that we look upon the star for guidance. We are inspired by the stars. We find it romantic to go out and look at the stars with someone that you care about. And so with this star card, the underlying message is to have faith and to have optimism and to believe that the universe, divine source, God, is out there looking over and directing you into the right place. So it's really a card of optimism. It's less of a card of, of doing and it's more of how you think and how you can best um, put yourself in a frame of mind that's going to uh, make you feel more positive and make you a believer, a believer in yourself and faith in the greater picture, the universe, and the universe's work. So it's always a lovely, lovely card, lovely energies. And then we have the Two of Cups, and we see the pair here, eye to eye, you know, almost shoulder to shoulder, and the cups are at equal, um, equal height. And there's a real sense that this is a relationship built on uh, equality and harmony and uh, really of melding together nicely. So whether you have met someone who could fulfill this role, which is someone who could be a soulmate, someone who could be very important within your life, to provide a, 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 a harmony relationship, well, that, you know, that means that uh, you understand each other, you're able to communicate well, you appreciate and you respect each other's values, and you might even have the same uh, long picture. You, know, you may be hoping for the same thing, whether it's having children or be having a more committed relationship. Um, so this is the potential for really quite a special and unique relationship. It's emotionally charged, and again, it can be romantic, passionate, but it also could be business-related, uh, other type of meaningful relationships and dynamics that you have in your life. And if you are in a relationship, again, it's the, it's the opportunity to dig deeper, to show and express your love in a perhaps a more intimate fashion or just uh, really getting to know your person 
you know, in more and more, more, more and more wonderful ways. So then we have the King of Swords. And our King of Swords here sits on this throne. He's got that sword and he looks resolute. He looks powerful and he is powerful because behind him he has the power of intelligence and reason and analytical skills. So when he makes decisions, he's making them from an informed place. He's not getting caught up in drama. He's not getting caught up in gossip or other things that take us off course. He's going to stick to the facts. He's going to look at the issue from all sides. He's going to do his best to problem solve if there's a problem. You know, if there's an issue, he's going to be smart enough to understand what's going on. So if you're, if you're meeting with someone like this, if you're having uh, this King of Swords within your work life or family life, this is someone who's going to make a pretty truthful decision or is going to give you honest advice. Because it's really, he's also about integrity and looking to get to the heart of the matter and to look at the facts and to let the facts really lead the way. So, uh, you know, if, if you're dating a king of swords, it could be someone in the legal field, it could be someone who is an engineer, someone who's truly analytical. And again, swords, uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I would say that it's a day to keep your faith, to believe in your own future, to let the stars inspire you, to feel uh, comfortable and, and healthy and good in your own skin. And when you're feeling comfortable, you know, and when you are presenting as yourself, then you're going to have much more honest and real relationships with others. And when you are able to, to give that off to the world, then these chances, you know, that, that's the chance that you will have to meet someone and to have that meeting on equal footing, seeing things eye to eye, finding pleasure in each other's company and uh, getting to know someone else's interests. And so, you know, perhaps you are being analytical with your approach if you're in the dating game, or you're just having to make an informed decision. It could be as simple as that. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have uh, 17 and two is 19 and one is 20 and reduces to two. Two is about relationships. It's about cooperation. It's about partnerships and balanced partnerships, har harmonious partnerships. And then finally, let me choose an oracle card for a little more information. Intensity. Well, that intensity, <laughs> I, I tend to think that it's related to the moon, the, the new moon in Leo and that supercharge. And the, for some, and maybe some fixed signs, you may really feel that you want some adventure and that you want to um, carve out a new path. And so uh, do the things that you want to do, you know, go out there and make it happen. And I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. And if you found this reading helpful, please subscribe if you haven't already, like, share, or comment. And I thank you so much for your time in watching, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.